infinity. Where the dying takes form. Greetings all, welcome to another Form Affinity video. Uh, it's been a while and I've got some exciting news with Maya Config stuff. So let's dive right in and see what's new with Maya Config Pro 2.1. So first off, this version coincides with Blender 3.4. And there has been some fixes to bring it up to speed with the newest version of Blender. So the first feature is sort of a, a hotkey re rearrangement. Q has been reassigned to selection box basically since the beginning of the config. So that got rid of quick favorites. So what we've done now is set quick favorites to shift Q. Um, you can see here I've got one already in place. If we hit shift A, and add an armature and go into pose mode. We now have the ability to isolate select using the Alt E key while in pose mode. Uh, so previously that wasn't available because that hotkey was set to something else. So if we go into preferences and go into our pose mode, Pose global, I'll show you guys what that has gotten changed to. So there's Alt E, set the local view. And here's what it used to be. So relax pose to breakdown has been uh, changed to shift Alt E. So just keep that in mind. And of course, you guys can swap those two if it's easier with your workflow. Lastly, we have a, a new a way of selecting objects while in edit mode. You'll see uh, previously we had to go in uh, edit mode, you know, select here. And then if I wanted to uh, edit something in this other object, I'd have to go out into object mode, select this object, and then go into edit mode for this object, right? Even if you're not using the marking menu, you'd have to come over here come up here, go to edit mode. Go back up, go to object mode, same thing, edit mode. So it's this really long, arduous uh, way of going from one object to, to another. So instead, what we've done is now that we are using my config pro, we have this new feature where we can just click <laughs> on an object and it'll go directly into edit mode and you can see it changing in the outliner. I'm going from one object to another just by clicking and it stays in edit mode. And I can go back out to object mode and do the same thing. I'd like to add possibly a feature. Right now you can only click, but I'd like to be able to maybe click and drag as well because you can do that in object mode. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you want the drag option, uh, that'll take some more work. So I know this doesn't look like a, a huge new feature, guys, but this was a ton of effort and time went into getting this to work. And I think it's going to be a huge time saver in the long run, not having to go back out to object mode every time you want to edit a different object. And I wanted to thank uh, TMC3 from YouTube for suggesting this idea. I think it's gonna be a fantastic improvement in uh, your guys' workflow. And it'll essentially bring the config even closer to Maya. So that wraps up this video, Maya Config Pro version 2.1. Uh, make sure to check out our, our video on Maya Config Pro Annie, uh, the animation version of the config. We'll have some exciting new updates as well. As always, thanks to you guys for supporting Form Affinity content. We will see you next time. Take care.